I'd like to see JCCC create a qualitative assessment network and archive that is a repository of audio and video and any multimedia or multimodal composition um, documents, resources. I'd like to see it shared. We need a, a network for this, and, and a network is not just technology, it's not hardware, it's it's people using whatever technology or hardware that, that that's needed, it's most effective. I think tablets are the best way to do this because they're the right tool. They are portable, they are pretty cheap, and they will with apps they're very easy to use and user friendly. They won't we won't need um, as much IT support as you would with hard PCs. Uh, we won't need to buy cameras. We won't need to buy microphones because it's all built in. I, I think there's also potential with speech recognition and speech to text, but I'm not sure how well that'll work, and I'm not sure that it'll be quicker than how fast English people can type. If everything you ha if the only tool you have is a, is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, and I think we have a a need for for something like a a wood screw. And yeah, you can drive a wood screw in a piece of wood with, with a hammer, but it's not the right tool. A Phillips head screwdriver is the right tool. I think the tablet is the right tool for this job. We need to create, really the toughest thing to find is time. We can't afford to hire more staff. And one way to make time is to be able to reach faculty where they are. Also, working with developmental students, they don't do optional. You have to take things to them, and we need the portability of handheld devices. The goal here is to, in, in the way that we talk about flipping the classroom, we want to flip assessment here. Um, we need to we need buy-in from, from technology savvy and creative faculty personnel. We need we need to be able to capture learning when it happens. There's there's two different kinds of time in 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 my in my pedagogy. My andragogy is really a better word, adult learning. There's chronological time, which we capture with quantitative research. Um, but really, there's this other idea called kairos, that it's the, a learning moment, the right time for something. And you have to be there. You can't always expect things to happen on a schedule. And I think handheld devices are going to be able to help us assess things that happen out of uh, in 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 the gaps, in the in the places we can't other reach, otherwise reach. Much in the, in the way that that we created a learning object repository. Um, I remember talking to Jonathan Bacon, and after we got that created, faculty from the English department jumped in, and you know, at first I was the only one posting to it, but very quickly, a lot of great material was coming from all over the, the department. I think if we create a network for cataloging keeping and sharing quantitative research, faculty will go nuts for it. English teachers are built for quantitative research. I am requesting both iPads and Android devices because I want buy-in from some really <laughs> talented um, tech-savvy people who won't use, I think, um, Android devices. They're really wedded to the idea of iPads. I'm flexible personally. I'm, I've had a lot of fun with the uh, with the Android device I've been playing with, but I think that once we get a, a core nucleus of, of personnel in this network, I think people will join it. We've got people already using tablets. We've got smart using smartphones. Once we get a nucleus of people working on this, creating this 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 repository, this quantitative assessment archive, I th I think it will take off under its own. Under its own wings, but it'll. I think we need to. We need some motivation, and we need some some uh, some hardware in place to get that sort of center of gravity, that that tipping point, really to start. And that's kind of what I want to do with this.